All right, team, we got a lot of great changes coming your way. And with that, Link has been updated quite a bit. So we wanted to do a quick video to get you introduced to the basics of the changes that we made. First, you can see that the first tab is the Swig menu. The Swig menu has all of our main menu drinks. So the new menu that we had just introduced, every drink that's on there will be there, whether it's a refresher, reviver, or a soda base, it's under the Swig menu. So other things to note, we introduced what's called selected modifiers. And that means with our main drinks, the recipe or the ingredients that are in them are already selected. So you can see Diet Coke, Coconut, and Fresh Lime have already been selected for this drink. So if a customer doesn't want to make any changes, you can click the size and add it, and it's as easy as that. If a customer wants to make a change, it's pretty easy as well. Let's say they want a Big Al with Coke. All you have to do is tap Coke, and it makes the switch. If they want a Big Al with Coke and sugar-free coconut, tap the X on coconut, and tap the plus on sugar-free coconut, and there you go, we've made the changes. Also, you guys know that we introduced with this change free extras. So we are not charging customers anymore for extra. So the way that we're gonna ring up extras is a little different. We're not gonna double tap the plus sign to make it extra, because that will charge the customer twice. Since each modifier has a price to it, don't double tap one, leave it at one, but what you can do to add extra is you can scroll down and you see there's a section called light, extra, extra, extra. And here's where you can make those notes and changes. So if a customer wants extra coconut in their Big Al, go ahead and just hit extra flavor and your team will see that they want extra. It's as simple as that. Something else to know is the way that we've done refills. We're switching the refills to make it a little more standard and easier. And that's by hitting this discount. So the top discount says a refill, which reflects our new pricing, which is 15% off. So when a customer wants a refill, you can ring up a drink, hit a refill, and then scroll down to the bottom, tap refill. And that's so that your team can see on the bump screen that it's a refill. So don't forget to tap the coupon on the tap and the refill button at the bottom. And the reason that we did it this way was so that we didn't have to make refill drinks from scratch. Now you can take some of the favorite drinks that customers get the most often, like the Bloody Wild, hit a refill, pick the size, and tap refill at the bottom and you're done. Going back to the Big Al, another way of bringing things up is to be aware if a customer wants half Coke, half Diet Coke, or something specific like that, you're going to have to add a custom modifier. And you'll just type in half Coke, half Diet Coke. For one-off things that aren't as frequent, you're going to have to use the custom modifier. But the things that are most popular, we introduced um, some new buttons to make that go a bit faster. Other things to note is that the secret menu. The secret menu is set up of all of our old drinks that we took off the menu that we still make. And it also includes some variations of Nirvana. So some stores still have Nirvana and Red Storms. Um, they still have the Monster and Rockstars to make those drinks. If you do, you can go ahead and use those buttons. If you don't and there's a customer that would like to, still likes the Nirvana, you can recommend the Red Bull variation concoction that we put together. It comes with sugar-free Red Bull, the same flavors, and then it's topped off with Sprite Zero. It's not the exact same, but it's an option for those customers that still liked it. In the Create Your Own section, this is where we build everything from scratch. There's a soda, reviver, and refresher, and H2O, which is just the base water. You can make drinks just from scratch here by picking the size, the soda, and any add-ins that they want to do. In addition to this section, you'll see there's an H2O refill section. If a customer wants a refill of water or to fill up a cup they own with ice, you'd go here, hit H2O refill, and then just select what it is, if it's ice only or if it's just water you can communicate that to your team there if a customer doesn't have a cup that we're refilling you'd hit h2o and you would charge them the prices there blended drinks include our bobas and freezes sweets and treats is what you're used to seeing and then under gc's which is gift cards and swag it's a simplified version of the things that we have and bottled drinks is if a customer wants to buy just a can of red bull 
Last things to be aware of, and this is super important, with these changes on the bump screen, the things that are gonna be shown are everything. No longer is it going to say SOP and not list anything or just list the extras. Take your time on the bump screen and look because it details everything that is in the drink. This is set up this way for now so that for our new drinks like Zeus Juice or the Tiki Tiki, you can see what's in them. So just remember on the bump screen, take your time, read all the way through because there's quite a few changes, but no, what pops up doesn't mean extra unless the team member clicks extra flavor, extra cream. What you see there are the ingredients that make up the drink. Last thing to be aware of is the way that we did mugs as well. Mugs are now part of the cup sizes. So you can see at the top right there, it says mug. The mug is a 50 cent discount from the 32 ounce. So when you're building a drink, all you have to do is tap the sizes. And if you want to refill the mug, tap the mug and you're done.